Hi, this is the 1000 Scenes Project. I'm Morgan, and improviser number 84 of 1000 is Zach Willis. Hi, Zach. Hey. How you doing? Doing well, thanks. Looking forward to this. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Our randomly generated suggestion is Wage. W-A-G-E. All right. I just, uh, I don't know, he said, um, he said, like, maybe down the line. Uh, I mean, were you forceful? Did you, did you, do you make your point clear? I, I, I mean, I, uh, I sat up straight, like, like we were working on, and uh, I put my, I did the thing where I was, I grabbed a thing on his desk. Yeah, you did the desk grab thing? Yeah, it, it I was a little, um. I don't know. It felt a. It surprised both of us when we did it. Oh, Thomas! It surprised you too. Yeah, I I ended up grabbing a picture of his uh, family, and uh, it <sighs> it I think it came off as a little threatening. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just supposed to be just a, a like a stapler or a letter, not a letter opener, but a, a pen or. Yeah, I feel like a letter opener would have been threatening too. I don't right. know. I mean, I get I get the idea of trying to grab something. Uh, uh, on his desk as a, like a power play, but yeah. most of it comes off as really aggressive, hun. So um, yeah, I love you, and I love you too. I'm so glad. I don't regret marrying you at all. I just sometimes I wish you could be more That's, male, more manly. It's it's so old fashioned to think that way, but yeah. That hey, that's a. Can I just be honest for a second? That's like a weird thing to say. Like yeah. even to just like make the statement, I don't regretting regret marrying you at all. Right. Well, even I mean to come right back at you. Yeah. To no, hit me. To call me out on well, hit you. That's uh, to call me out on something that I said that hurt your feelings, and you just put it in that really nice way. Like, what? Um, it's just um, this is a lovely dinner, by the way. Um, it's delicious. Oh, well, thanks. I uh. You know, I, I'm a big fan of Martha. Martha. Yeah, most. It doesn't matter what most men do. Just most men don't call Martha Stewart by her first name. What do they call her, Ms. Stewart? Martha Stewart. They usually just say Martha Stewart. I, I hate feel that I'm like this. I hate that I am so. Why am I so traditional? I I love you. I love the way you are. It's all part of how you are. Yeah. Um, I just wish sometime. Mm, I don't know. What? Say it. I. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Would you, um. So how did the? So did he say? So he said down the line maybe. About he said somewhere down the line. Yeah, he said okay. possibly down the line. He said um, there's a lot of because. Uh, you know, like there's, uh, they just got bought by that uh, big uh, venture capital firm, and they're doing all those management changes, structural changes, whatever. I don't know. I I cried, honey. I I cried. I no, cried no, you didn't. You cried. I did. In I a... did. I wept. Okay. I mean, I love it that you cry. I love when you cry. I mean, it shows. What a sweet, gentle person you are. It's part of why I fell in love with you. It's just, you know, there's one thing, it's one thing falling in love with someone, it's another thing living with them day to day. Are you, oh, oh I hear, let me wipe that for you. Thank you. I don't like to, I don't like, it's nice when you do it because it messes up um, my foundation Yeah. when I start smudging it too much. Have you been? You haven't been wearing the makeup to work, have you? It's just yeah. Of when course, I'm wearing. You put it on. Of course, I've been wearing it to work. Okay. Of course, I'm wearing it to work. It looks good. I think it looks good. It's. Is, a, I'm, you, you've been so clear with me that this is not, not like a transgender thing going it's on. It's not. No, it's on the very light, light end of the grayscale of sexuality. Right, and that makes sense to me. Yeah. You know, and and if you if there if you were having some sort of identity, and some sort of feeling that you needed to represent yourself differently, or that you've been representing yourself differently than you feel inside, then I would I of course I love you, and I'd be a hundred percent in support. It's just that you've identified as 
a man who was born a man, and you're not doing it right. You would like it. You you want me to fit into some mold, don't you? You want kind just of. come out and say it because I am in a weird like like you know how Asian music has those like Indian music has those semitones and the Western scale has just right. standard thirteen notes. The pentatonic scale is that what it's called? That's five yeah. notes. Um, you want me to fit. Neatly into an L G B T Q A or I, and I don't fit into any of those things. Okay, that's a lot of letters, so honey. I know I don't fit into a single one of them. I'm a kind of wimpy man who likes to wear makeup and feels uncomfortable being aggressive about things. With a narrow chin, which is scientifically a sign of less testosterone. When I, I was love your chin. Less. No, you don't. Fragile like little narrow chin. chin. It's a, it's a, what'd you call it? Your fragile little narrow chin. Your little glass chin. So it's a lady's glass chin. Your little lady's china doll chin. <sighs> like a little, like a little Hummel figurine. Like a fragile little Hummel figurine. Of a man. That's what I am. Yeah. That's, there should be, it should be LGBTQIA and uh, FLHF. Which is a fragile little homo figurine. Well, maybe you know, maybe someday in the future it will be. Exp that'd be a pretty. It's a little confusing to add a bunch of new letters for just one designation, but I hope I can grow as a person enough to accept that someday. To fully well, accept that someday. I'm sorry for getting so upset with you. No, How was your day? How was your day? Oh, it was fine. You know, with the we're. The, the union's talking about striking again. It's, you know, any day I'm actually out on the truck picking up garbage, I just feel like it's another, it's a small victory, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. There's going to be another yeah. trash trash strike. It looks like it, yeah. And then, you know, half of it is that I just enjoy catcalling dudes so much that, you know, I hate to give that up. Even yeah. if, you know, I... I understand what the union's trying to do, but it's just, I don't know. Um, I mean, I feel uncomfortable talking about it because I know that uh, uh, it's heavily influenced by the by the mob. Yeah, there's definitely some mob stuff going on. Yeah. And they're all just, you know, when you say anything, they bust your balls about it. They really bust your balls. Yeah, you got your balls busted? Yeah, I got my balls busted pretty hard today. Just talking to talking to Jimbo about it. No, Jimbo wasn't busting your balls, was he? Yeah, Jimbo's just busting my balls all day long. You know, he's been, ever since he filed the uh, sexual harassment suit against you, which is uh, thank you for believing me. It's utter bullshit. I know you. I know. He knew I was joking. He knew I was joking. Yeah. Grab. I mean, you grabbed his dick in a joking. Yeah, I mean, barely grabbed it, you know. It was like a, it was like a pat or yeah. something. I, I, I've got a bigger dick than him, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't have a dick. But if I did, yeah. it would be bigger, no, I know. bigger. I mean, I talk about having a dick all the time, but I don't. All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, all the time. Yeah, you're. I see you're adjusting yourself right now. Or, oh, was I? I didn't even. It was unconscious. Yeah. Yeah, you've got. You've really built it in. You've trained trained yourself. Honey, we really need you to get a raise. So if you go back in tomorrow and just you know really just sort of man up, don't cry. I mean, you're right. I do. I um. I arrange flowers better than anybody there. And they're not going to forget that. So just remember that and have that inside and just you know, seize the space around you. Just go in there and just, you know, throw some owls. Throw oh, jeez. Uh, honey, you're, mess you're banging the table. Sorry, I got a little surge of uh, estrogen, I guess. Yeah. Estrogen surge. <sighs> your, uh, your mashed potatoes are number one. Or I, should I, say, I guess I should say Martha's mashed potatoes. Thank you, yeah. Uh, these are actually Ra Rachel's. Blackout. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Zach. For yeah.
is there anything that I can yeah is there anything I can plug for you in the description of the video? Um, I've got uh, a thing coming out next week called Robert. I want a divorce. It's a web series with me and Natasha Vainblatt, directed by Zach Goldbaum uh, and produced by Lauren Kahn about. Where Natasha plays a crazy lady who is married to a stuffed rabbit and wants to divorce. Uh, I'm sold. So, yeah, that would be fun. Great. Well, I'll put a link to that, uh, maybe a placeholder until it actually comes out, and then a real mm-hmm. honest to goodness link. Great. Thank uh, you. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Have a great day. You too, Morgan. Take care.